Welcome everyone to a new lesson in how to use LS Imagine in remote sensing uh, techniques maybe. And in this lesson we will cover the um, subjects of uh, how to build a model in LS Imagine using the model modeler. You can see it up here in the LS toolbar. And also how to apply or how to use a modeler to build a special function called dust subtraction or dark object, object subtraction. Um, the idea behind the dark object subtraction is if we are looking here into um, letter stack, let's use this one, and we will check the spectral or the reflectance in a water body. You can see here that the reflectance is still quite high. So we have 75 digital numbers in the first band, 53 digital numbers in the second band. Uh, there's a decline in the digital numbers, as you can see here. Um, but um, normally, this water body shouldn't reflect anything. So if, if there would be no atmosphere, the reflection of the water body should be 1 because zero um, is defining the surrounding area of the scene and one is the darkest possible pixel number or pixel value in this case and as you can see here the values are 40 21 19 16 very very low and so we can assume that if we can see a signal into that or in that pixel which belongs to a water body or a very deep water body uh, the signal shouldn't belong to the water body itself but to the atmosphere above it so um, given that information we can go ahead and say okay normally the reflectance of that special pixel pixel should be less than the measured one so and with that knowledge in mind we uh, will go into the modeler you can see it up here and you will open it will open up a pane for drawing and we will um, transform the normal bands into dos corrected bands so we will subtract the the area of the atmosphere uh, but this is a very coarse uh, um, solution for the problem so there are much more um, in-depth um, methods of atmosphere corrections but we will just um, or I will just show you this one um, called DAS DOS so you will use an input raster this is the input raster and an output raster and you will use a function on that raster so the input raster is in the first case the first band so we will use a first band it is saved as a tiff this is the first band you can leave everything like it is and this will be connected with a function and the function is normally just the uh, input raster uh, minus the value we have uh, uh, we have uh, found out here so let's check again the values it's about 72 in the first band so 72 the band minus 72 and this will be or the result of this process will be stored in another in another raster we can say it here it's a dos corrected band one dot img and this will be also stored in the unsigned 8-bit format we will ignore the zeros and stops calculation and everything is nice now so with this uh, with this flash sign you will execute the model this is quite fast because we are not doing some kind of uh, conditional statements here in that case and now we are ready but um, the function it's very easy to create here so let's check the results so we'll use in this view the dos corrected solution fit image to window and we will open another viewer go over there please thank you and we will open the uncorrected band number one once again um, fit image to window and as you can see here the on-screen performance is um, you, on the left side you have much more contrast than on the right side but to check the values you have to 
link the viewers you will go to view link on link geographical what does it mean so you will connect this information over here or the geographical information over here with the geographical information over here so linking this viewer see you can see the inquiry cursors on the same position and if i'm zooming in into this scene you will also see that there's a box appearing on the right side which equals the view on the left side so you will have the file pixel value is zero in that case let's check out on the other side it's 74 much more higher so there's a difference and but this difference is unusual or it, it contains some errors so once again check out some pixels here one three two number one again um, they're all above zero that is fine for the moment but uh, it could be that there are pixels in that area that are zero so let's check it out with a spatial profile and we will draw from there over to this point and as you can see there are some pixels that are zero over here and um, this is not a good way to calculate that kind of uh, dust corrected band so i will show you now a more advanced possibility and we will use the same uh, the same setup so one input dresser a process and an output dresser but uh, we will go into detail with the function behind that and therefore we will use a conditional statement just um keep in mind that the that this value is 72 and for the more advanced system we will use a conditional statement which says okay oh, let's once again click there and as you can see here there's a test on each pixel and if the pixel um, is uh, fulfilling the criteria it will be the given argument number one and you can also write a second test and also th then an argument two and so on so we will use this um, syntax in a notepad to show you uh, this in a better way so okay we have conditional and then the first test should be if the band number one is higher or the value in each pixel is higher than 72 and please make sure that you keep the spaces here and um, because and as I mentioned don't like some mixing around with the syntax so we were testing um, whether the given whether a given pixel is bigger in its value or higher in its value than 72 and if this is the case then we will um, calculate the difference between this pixel and the value of 72 so we would subtract 72 from the band number one and what could else be so the value given in that band could be less or equal 72 and it could be bigger than zero if this is the case the argument will be that this way you get the value um, get the value of one why that and not zero so the value of zero is defining the sur surrounding area of the scene so where no information is available so the minimum information could be that there's no reflectance and no reflectance is described with a number of one so the third possibility is that the band number one equals zero if this is the case then the value zero should be uh, there as well so this is a this is a syntax for the conditional statement so um if this is the case we will just make the dos correction if this is um if the value in the pixel is a little bit smaller then we will assume it's some kind of error then we will use the number of uh, one and if the given pixel number is zero then we will also leave it like that with a zero but first of all we have to make sure that the variable name is correct so um, we will just copy the variable name here and replace it with the band number one in our case here and now 
there once again. Copy everything into the function definition make it like that. So the syntax should be fine in the moment uh, and we will see in a moment whether this was working as well. And we will also calculate it on, on this uh, image but we will now check delete if exists to override the uh, old file. Go ahead with the function. And as you can see it's fast enough, enough as well. Go again into viewer mode. Open that file, fit image to window. There's no no real difference between the first solution and the second solution, but um, it is better to use the second solution because it's a uh, little more complicated. But uh, it's um, there are no logical uh, difficulties in doing so. And as you can see, we all always have zero one values of one in that in that area, and there are no uh, zero values in that scene. So as you can see here, two, one, zero, and it is not possible to receive a zero value in that Landsat scene. So given that um, model, we'll just save the model, save as. Let's find a good place for that. So C and then, oh no, Sorry for that. Uh, users record a clean good desktop, and I'm now using seminar. And we will leave it, or we will uh, save it, and in the dos correction dot gmd. Okay, and I would like to show you this uh, model in the Notepad version. So we'll close that go back into Notepad and I will now open this model. Um, you know, open. Go back to the folder. And where is the GMD? There's a GMD, and as you can see here, the, uh, you have the size of the of the of the um, of the window. Uh, then you have the first ID, which was a raster, and there's a title for the raster, band number one. You have the file name given, and also uh, some kind of um, informations about the data type, which is an unsigned 8-bit, and so on. Then you have a function, the, which has the ID number two, and um, then you have the conditional statement. And this conditional statement can be used also for the bands number two and bands number three. So going back to the modeler, let's change only the input raster file, which is the band number two. We have to do it also for the band number two. Then you can go into the conditional statement and, s and see, okay, every variable name has changed already, but we have to make sure how was the value of the band number two. So, um, which which value do we have to um, subtract? Therefore, I will open once again the layer stack. Fit image to window. Go into the lake region, and we'll make the we'll make the. Wait a second. We'll already or also make the um, the inquire cursor mode. So we will have in the second band the value of 75. But once again, we can also check using the layer statistics. You can see it in the layer info. Then we have the uh, the possibility to show the histogram. And as you can see here, there are a lot of pixels with uh, digital numbers of 38. There are zero and some failure pixel you can see because of the uh, same number 245 245 you can see there these are failures in the in the scene but there's a steep increase in the in the numbers of pixel which has the values of 69 or 70 in the first band so let's go again check out the, the second layer and you can have you have the 
increase in the values starting at the value of 50. 52 maybe. So we will use that information now for this conditional statement. So if the value is bigger than 54 or 52, we will subtract 52. Once again, if it's less than 52 there or and bigger than 0, it will be 1, else it will be, will be 0. So change the name for the output raster. That's a band number 2. Unsigned 8 bit is fine. Go ahead and calculate, please. And by doing so, for all the three visible, uh, or for all the three bands of the visible light, you can make and 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 compute um, a better looking scene by removing this blue haze in the area. And if you have that, and um, I've done this now, and in the end, you can you will come up, come up with a much better looking. Um, layer stack and therefore um, um, a real light, a real color picture and yeah make sure you can do that then you will be familiar with the modeler and everything is fine for the next steps thank you once again for